Idiots for Cinema presents... What is the greatest Bond movie of all time? Moonraker. As it embodies the peak silliness that is the defining through line of the Bond movie franchise that is about to release its 25th installment with Tomorrow Never Dies. I mean die another day. No way, live and let die. The title of the newest James Bond movie is No Time to Die. Or the one with the love boat font and the Billie Eilish song. Because nothing defines Bond more than teenage answery sensory meridian response hacks music. It's hard to argue that the James Bond franchise wants to be taken seriously when it gives characters ridiculous names. Who are you? My name is Pussy Galore. I'm Octopussy. I'm looking for Dr. Goodhead. You just found her. And insert slide whistle sound effects for cool car stunts. And Tarzan screams as Bond swings through the jungles of India. And Jaws falling in love. The James Bond franchise is at its best and most entertaining when it shamelessly leans into its own absurdity as it does with Moonraker. Roger Moore mastered the art of playing the role of James Bond while simultaneously lampooning it. As there is nothing more ridiculous than a secret agent who all women find irresistible, while simultaneously saving the world from the absurd plots from caricature supervillains with high-tech gadgets that are so specifically tailor-made to save Bond's life and simultaneously move forward the plot of the movie. To recap the plot of Moonraker, Hugo Drax is a rich industrialist who will use rare South American orchids to exterminate the human race and then will repopulate the earth with his group of chosen sexy white people who will survive the holocaust by hiding out on his space station. Well, here's to us. Clearly this is Elon Musk's favorite movie and he can't wait to watch it with his son, XH8-12, as soon as he is old enough to understand sex jokes. My god, what's Bond doing? I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. And jokes about Vassar. Where did you learn to fight like that, Nasser? No, Vassar. And 40 years before there was Space Force, there were Space Marines, who wear turtlenecks underneath their space suits. Space Marines who are just standing by to fight an enemy in space with jetpacks and lasers that make much cooler pew pew sounds than they do in Star Wars. And Bond in a Serape, because he's in South America, looking for orchids. If you hated this video, dislike and unfollow for less.